Trillium Truthers, it's Jessica here bringing you a prophetic word from this past year. So I'm just going to pray and then we'll get into it. But this one is called Blowing the Whistle and it's from September 2nd, 2021. So let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, that we can come to you and we thank you and invite your presence here, Father. And we just uh, submit ourselves to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I just pray, let only the truth come forth. We just pray over this video and we thank you that we have power over all the power of the enemy. And we send your heavenly host, Lord, to go before and protect this message in all of its ways. We just thank you and abort and uh, sever and um, rebuke any kind of plans, plots, ploys of the enemy in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, and ask that you prepare our hearts, Lord, fill us with your wisdom, your guidance, and your revelation knowledge. And we just thank you, Lord, uh, for preparing us, for bolstering us up in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'm just going to jump into it. So once again, blowing the whistle, September 2nd, 2021. All right. Thus says the Lord this day in this hour and in this very moment, I am the referee and I am blowing the whistle. I am blowing the whistle and calling the whistle blowers. Watch and see as players are removed, as underhanded schemes are brought for all to see and coaches are not only disbanded, but arrested. I have heard the cries of my people, my children, who have been left stranded in the wilderness, a defenseless prey for the wolves to eat, but I will not have it. Such callousness and ruthlessness they have displayed towards my creation. Vengeance is mine, and Allah, the God who hates, shall pay dearly for even thinking that I watch passively. Oh, the blood runs thick on Biden's hands um, and that of his manipulated administration. I am severing the head of the coiling serpent that has wrapped itself around the eagle. I am separating the head from the body. Jezebel shall be brought to tears as she shall be removed from the city. She is already throwing a tantrum. Her subordinates are afraid of her wrath, and so they have scattered. In their fear, they have turned up the fear. In their fright, they have put on more pressure. In their inability, they sought to intimidate more. Such childish tactics plotted in confusion and flurry shall fall in confusion and flurry it shall not even have to be from my hand for their plans are collapsing in on themselves I see what goes on behind the scenes. I see all the productions, plays, and skits they have designed and orchestrated. They have all failed. They are running frantic behind the scenes, but you do not see it, nor do you hear. You are moved by a silly passport. You become frustrated because of their pressuring mandates. Children of God, where is your faith? How long must I tarry with you and hold your hand? Does a commander hold the hand of his officers? Does a general baby his soldiers? Stop the childish antics at once and remember whose side you are on. We have won. You are no longer slaves to sin or evil or the devil. You are my sons and daughters that are free and have kingdom authority. How many times must I tell you? How many times must I confirm? How many times have I shown that I am faithful? Get out of the fear that has surrounded you. Remove, uh, removed the spirits of heaviness and faith in me. Um, Remove the spirits of heaviness and faith in me to stand. My army is on the offensive. We have been taking territory and toppling strongholds. Victory is ours, but your words, your words of fear, worry, unforgiveness, and frustration allow the enemy camps to rebuild. Your words stall my perfect plans and hinder the heavenly army fighting on your behalf. New events are approaching. The pressure is mounting to an explosion of truth and justice. On Rosh Hashanah, I shall judge those who have harmed my children and traded themselves to evil. Like a shepherd, I shall make each one jump over my rod. I shall find the, the sickly and feeble. I shall find the beaten and afflicted. I shall find the wolves and sort out... 
the goats, O Rosh Hashanah, there shall be a great sifting, sizing, and weighing. Pray for those who persecute you. Let not your anger be kindled against them, for vengeance is mine. I have made a way. I have established a plan. This is not about saving a society. This is not about corrupting, uh, correcting corrupt politicians. This is not about getting life back to normal. It is about me creating the foundation so my kingdom can be established here on earth. So my glory can rest and not be re retaliated against. Oh Canada, it is time to be brave. It is time to stand and speak. Let a not another speak for you. For when truth is spoken, Darkness and deception flee. It runs. So it is the time to stand up and not stand in awe and fight. Look not to yourselves for strength. Look to me and the joy I bring. It has been a long year filled with much deception and manipulation, but a new year has come. With it, a new revival so great and powerful, all shall be stunned. I am bringing the truth. I am breaking the seals and pouring out my trump cards. Trudeau, say goodbye to your last election. I am coming. I am turning nations upside down and setting them aright. I am the Lord your God and I am marking this fall as my great reset. What has been at play for generations and centuries shall be shall unravel to the surface. Erupt, erupt, erupt. Come to the surface, O oh, you despicable creatures that have laid waste at the bottom of the ocean's deep. Be seen at last, you bottom feeders who hide in darkness and reap wicked rewards from pain and suffering of my people. Your God's hands and feet have been cut now. My spirit moves and shakes the earth so the gods fall flat on their faces and their heads are severed from their bodies. Let the threshing begin as I grind out every grain of misconduct. It is time to steady yourselves for the, run, for the runaway train is coming to a halt. Be ready, O Canada, be ready, O America, the fall has come, and with it the end of summer's hot and pressured hand. Ooh, I need a drink. Okay. Um, pardon me. So, with this one, um, because Rosh, Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year, and the Lord mentioned it in here several times. I actually, after I got this, I had to look it up because I didn't, I kind of knew what it was, but I didn't know. So at the bottom of this message are kind of details that I found interesting and they kind of align with what he was saying because I had no idea. I knew Rosh Hashanah was the Jewish New Year, but that's as far as my knowledge went. So when I looked it up, especially what is Rosh Hashanah, like what are they celebrating, what do they do on the new year, what's its importance. So Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year and it is always celebrated on the first and second of the month of Tishrei. It begins at sundown on the first of Tishrei. Rosh Hashanah means head of the year and it is a time where one reflects on the actions as their actions can impact the rest of the year just like the head affects the rest of the body so um on <laughs> on a website that i like to use especially when it comes to understanding jewish traditions is uh, chabad.org or chabad.org um, and this article I found best explained it. So um, it reads, as we read in the Rosh Hashanah prayers, and this is in quotes, all inhabitants of the word pass before God like a flock of sheep. And I thought that was really important because in his word, if we go back, and I didn't, I couldn't have planned this out better myself, but I, he, um, he says in this word, where is it? Uh, oh, yes. He says right here. He says, um, on Rosh Hashanah, I shall judge those who have harmed my children and traded themselves to evil. Like a shepherd, I shall make each one jump over my rod. And, and because back in those days, oftentimes, and maybe many of you know this, but just quickly, 
Um, shepherds typically what they would do is they would sleep in um, there would be the sheep pen there was the opening or the entrance of the sheep pen which was the gate and oftentimes there wasn't a, a, like a gate door the shepherds would sit there and sleep there um, and it was through this process that they would hold up their staffs and as they were filing the lambs and, and the sheep through those lambs would have to jump over the rod just to make sure um, if any of them were feeble or sickly or if there was something wrong, they would be able to tell right away if it could jump over this rod. So it's a way of measuring and seeing and sifting through the fold to see if there are any that are feeble or sickly or wounded or maybe aren't sheep. Um, in this case, the Lord says in this word, He shall find the sickly and feeble. I shall find the beaten and afflicted. I shall find the wolves and sort out the goats. So he's sifting through um, through all these things. And he says, O Rosh Hashanah, there shall be a great sifting, sizing, and weighing. And then, uh, so I thought that was huge because Rosh Hashanah itself, and I had no idea that this is what this um, the Jewish New Year was, is it is a time of reflection. It's a time on reflecting on your past, actions because what you choose uh, to do in this new year uh, is going to affect the rest of your year, right? So um, it's interesting in their prayers, all inhabitants of the world pass before God like a flock of sheep. And it is decreed in the heavenly court who shall live and who shall die, who shall be impoverished and who shall be enriched, who shall fall and who shall rise. And it's very much what you what what you sow is what you'll reap kind of um which is basically the laws of the earth right what you plant seed time and harvest that's what you're going to get um, it is a day of prayer a time to ask the almighty to grant us a year of peace prosperity and blessing but it is also a joyous day when we pro when we proclaim god king of the universe rosh hashanah is believed to be the birthday of the universe the day when Adam and Eve were created and the Jewish New Year. A special and important feature of this festivity is the blowing of the shofar on both days. The blowing of the shofar symbolizes the trumpet blast sounded at the king's coronation. It also um, is seen as a call to repentance. Other traditions include candle lighting, performing the tashlik, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which is ceremonially casting your sins into the water and festive meals. So this past year, Rosh Hashanah um, took place at sundown on September 6, 2021. That's when we entered the, the new year, according to the Jewish calendar. So um, <laughs> I thought that was very interesting when I got this word and he talks about, yeah, the flock. And sifting through them and how the importance of Rosh Hashanah and um, I had to look it up because I had no idea that's kind of what the reflection it's a time of reflection but in the meaning of it so I couldn't have planned that better myself and I didn't it was all him but that was just some insight um, so that's at the bottom of that message um, but anyways so it's kind of a, uh, a message of waking people up, alerting them, pay attention kind of thing. Um, but it's also something we can look forward to and just really fascinating. So I hope that helps. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day and God bless.